Hi everyone out there in MA land and welcome to this tutorial on how to add new XYZ position and rotation data from Vectorworks to a pre-existing show file. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already know how to use the Vectorworks MA export plugin, but if you don't, you can check out our tutorial on that subject as well. So looking at on PC and 3D here, we can see that we already have our show file built with some cues and presets and so forth. But our fixtures are all just sitting in a big pile on the floor, which makes previous kind of tough. It would be nice if there was an easy way to add position and rotation info to all of our lights without destroying any programming. Luckily for us, there just happens to be a trick we can use, which is possible because MA3D has this spreadsheet view which contains position and rotation values for all of our 3D objects. And you can copy and paste in this spreadsheet. Note that, of course, this means you must have MA3D running to do this. So here's what we're going to do. Let's assume that we already have our rig positions set in Vectorworks. So we're going to go and use the Vectorworks MA export plugin. And the interesting thing here is that I don't really care about most of the fields in here because I'm not actually going to use this patch in a real show file. This is just to get our position and rotation values. So we'll leave that as fixture type. Going to set all of these fields to none because I don't want any of this extraneous information in here. Going to export everybody. Going to use my focus points for color forces and conventionals because I do want to keep track of that rotation information. And actually the fixture type number, I don't even care about that. So I'm just going to leave that as the default dimmer fixture type. Okay, so we're going to export that. We're going to put it in our USB stick, GMA2, import export, and we'll call it something like new pause. Sure. Okay, so that's save. Now we'll go back here to on PC. And we're going to load a new show. And we're going to go to setup, and we need to make sure that our dimmer fixture type is imported because that's the one that we do need. Okay, so that's in there. Yes, save. Okay, and now this next part is just like any other import from Vectorworks. So we're going to go to backup, select our USB stick, and type in cd edit setup, and then import, and then your file name. So new pause at layers. Okay, I looked in import export, we found new pause. Okay, to so go back to the root cd slash. And now here in 3D, we have all of our 3D objects with their position and rotation info. Perfect. Okay, but now we need to copy this over to our other show file. So to make sure that everything lines up properly, we're going to double tap the name column to sort alphabetically. And we're going to select the position and rotation columns for all of our objects, not just our fixtures, but we're going to include every 3D object that we have in here. We're going to right click and choose copy. And then we'll come over here, back into on PC, and load our original show, the one that we want to keep. And I'm not going to save this other show file because it was just a temporary show file that we don't care about. Okay, so now we're back in our regular show. And we see our position and rotation values are just at zero. So again, we're going to sort by alphabetical order. Select position and rotation, right click, paste. And everything's in there. If we go back to our stage view, all position there. And if we come back here, we can play back a cue and see actually how it's supposed to look. Perfect. Now we're prevising. Well, that concludes our video tutorial on adding new XYZ position and rotation data from Vectorworks to a pre-existing show file. Make sure to check out actlighting.com support for more tutorials, both text and video. And feel free to email us at support at actlighting.com if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.